<laughs> all right hi guys it's your girl sasha um coming to you today to do a tmi tag um my channel is still relatively new so i just want to give you guys information about me so we can come you know become best pals like i really just want to do this so you guys can take a journal journey with me through my life as i find myself through my young adulthood through my last year of college you know so i'm gonna do a tmi tag i believe it's it's 32 questions hopefully we can get through all 32. I know my battery was having a situation, but we we're trying to get it all done. And yeah, so um, the first one is, what are you wearing? I'm wearing something that totally doesn't match. It's like a, it's a, you know, like a burgundy top. I don't know if y'all can see. It's like a burgundy top with like a neck thing. And then some earrings. And then, okay, let's see. Some pants that's just the same color. And they have love at the bottom of them. Yeah, and the pants have love at the bottom of it. Okay. My camera was trying to refocus. Um, so, have you ever been in love? Yes, I've been in love. I've been in love like three times. Ever have had a, ever had a terrible breakup? Of course I've had a terrible breakup. I mean, who hasn't? Especially at 20. Um, how tall are you? I am 5'2 and a half. Don't forget the half. Um, how much do you weigh? <laughs> I'm comfortable. I'm plush. Honestly, I really don't know. I got a scale, but I avoid it. Um, just being honest. Um, any tattoos? No, I have no tattoos. Um, any piercings? I have a couple of piercings. Well, of course, I have my ears pierced. I have my nose pierced. I have my lip pierced, but I let them all close. So, the only thing I have right now is my ears. OTP? I have no clue what OTP means, y'all. So, we're just going to skip that one. The next one is favorite show. My favorite TV show is the Jamie Foxx show. Like, I love that show. I used to binge watch it all the time. Especially, like, my first and second semester in college. Like, on Saturdays when I have nothing to do. I, like, get up in the morning, go fix breakfast, and then get in bed and watch the Jamie Foxx show all day. Because all the shows was, like, on YouTube. But they took them down. I want them to come out with, like, a diss. And I'll be, like, the first person to buy it. Because I love the Jamie Foxx show. Um... Favorite bands, I'm going to take that you mean like rock bands, but I don't have one of those, so I do like marching bands because I was in a marching band. Um, so my favorite college marching band is Southern University, and my favorite high school marching band is Tristan's High School, which is my old high school. So yeah, those are my two favorites. Yeah. <laughs> um, something you miss? Something I miss is Atlanta. Like, I miss... Just being able to get up and go do stuff. Like, my school is in the middle of nowhere now. So, I'm literally here. All of the things that I do consist of the school facilities. So, I miss being able to be like, hey, let's go out. Let's do this. Let's do that. Like, I miss that so much. Just the city. I really miss the city. And I'm from New Orleans. So, it's like, it doesn't make it any better for me to be in the country. Because I've, I've been in the city my entire life. Um, Favorite song? I have favorite songs in kind of like each genre so i'll give you my favorite song song like of all times it's always my favorite song before i started getting more favorite song and it's can't get enough of you by tamia i love that song love 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 that song always have always will how old are you i'm 20 like i said before i'll be 21 in june and it's february right now so you know she is pretty for the turn up and my 21st birthday is on a friday so <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> I mean, so stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. Birthday's on a Friday. Stay tuned. Um, zodiac sign. I am a Gemini. Yeah. Don't believe what they say. Some of my friends would say you should, but I don't believe so. Um, qualities I look for in a partner. This is something that I haven't like thought about in depth yet just because I'm still trying to graduate I'm trying to get my life together of course every female wants love and affection and attention and stuff like that but that's just not something that is in the radar right now for like long term but if I do decide to date it will be dating for long term um so I guess some of the qualities would be is I definitely need a, like an alpha male I need somebody that's strong that's nurturing that's protecting um of course they have to be a Christian um, I need someone who has wisdom. 
I need someone who's a great decision maker. I need someone who's caring, who's who's understanding, who's very sweet to touch, like has a great heart. I need somebody who cares for humanity and somebody who works in the health profession. Of course, I need somebody who's stable. I need someone who values the same things I need in life. I need somebody who will blend well with my family. I need somebody who's willing to work with me through me. You know? I know it's a lot of, 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 lot of things, but I haven't gotten there yet. Um, the next one is favorite quote. I should turn this around. <laughs> <laughs> but that's one of my favorite quotes like the camera because it's right on my wall and it said good things come to those who hustle I'm a huge 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 fan of that quote and it's it's one by Marilyn Monroe and it says um what does it say it said something that's ridiculous or something 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 I have to look it up but it's my favorite quote and she's talking about being absolutely ridiculous like it's crazy to just be whatever, but to just be yourself. I, I love a lot of Marilyn Monroe quotes. Um, favorite actor. Favorite actor. Well, I'll say this. My favorite actress is Taraji P. Henson. Love her. Love her. Always have loved her. Always will love her. My favorite actress is Taraji. My favorite actor, as in Mel, Michael Ely, like I, I love African American actors. I know there's some that's probably better than them, but they're urban. They're they're kind of young, so they're still making an impact, you know. Um, favorite color, my favorite color would be purple or aquamarine. One of the two. I love both of them a whole whole lot. Aquamarine looks great on me though, and then purple, it's just I've always loved purple, but I feel like I'm getting older, so I have to have another color. <laughs> Loud music or soft. I am a loud music, boom boom all the time, you need to hear down the street type female. Like that's that's me. Um, where do you go when you're sad? Right now, where I'm currently at, in my room, but if I was able to, I would go to like the lake. We have a lake out here, I would go to the lake and just sit at the lake and like cry and get all my frustrations out and gather my life and really just take some quiet time. Um, how long does it take you to shower? It takes me, it depends on how long I have. It can take me anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. Depends on how long I have, what time of day it is, and where I'm going. Um, how long does it take you to get ready? Exact same thing. It can take me from three minutes. I've done it being late from school. It can take me from three minutes to an hour, hour and a half, depending on where I'm going. Ever been to physical fight? Yes. Turn on. A turn on to me is somebody who can manipulate me like mentally like I love to have conversations like the quickest way to like get me to be head over heels for you is a conversation that is actually satisfying that actually is something that I want to talk about that I feel like I'm gleaming for them from that I feel like okay you're not being too much but you're being very genuine like I love someone who can talk I love somebody who can express themselves that is a huge turn on to me a turn off to me and this is this is a turn off because I've had some people in my life do it. But a turn off to me is a jackasses. I can't say it no other way, assholes. Like men who are very like I don't hear like I don't know. I just feel like men should have a certain gentleness to women. And I cannot stand it when men don't. That's a real turn off. That ain't cute. You being mean, that ain't cute. You catching the attitude, that ain't cute. I ain't here for it and will never be here for it. But, I shall continue. The reason I joined YouTube, the reason I joined YouTube is because I really want to share my life with, like, other people. And I wanted to be in a place to where I can speak to other people. I don't know, I feel like YouTube is something that I'm doing for me. I think a lot of time I, I've done things or I represent things and I've done it for other people. But YouTube is something that I can do for me. And it's going to take me a while to kind of get completely comfortable, completely naked, and completely open 
to the process, even though I really want to do it. But YouTube is something that I'm I'm hon I'm owning, you know what I'm saying, as for myself, something I'm doing for me and my name, my brand, my the people that's that's here to care and to care about me, you know? Not necessarily like my involvement with something else. Um fears. I have a couple of fears. Number one fear is being homeless again. We'll do I'll do a story time about me being homeless that's my number one fear me and me being homeless again my number two fear is me not being financially stable physically stable mentally stable just stability throughout my entire life that's my second fear and my third fear is actually like a present fear is that i will not be have a place to live once i graduate college and be able to start my life once i graduate college um Last thing that made me cry, um, well, my best friend size roommate, like, her dad just passed, so that's been hard for all of us, so that was the last thing that made me cry, and actually, I'm probably gonna cry tomorrow, because tomorrow's his funeral, so, um, last time I said I love someone, I said I love somebody yesterday when I was talking to my little brothers and my little sisters, I love them so much, they are literally the epitome of my soul, like, I love them you know how some people, well, most people love their siblings because they're their siblings. I don't love my siblings because they're my siblings. I love them because of who they are. I love them because of the children they are, the kids that they are, the young adults that they are, the teenagers that they are. I love my sisters and brothers. Like, my little sisters and brothers so, so, so much. I would give the world and back for them. I would literally get hit by a bus so that they would never have to feel pain. Literally. I love them that much. Um, meaning behind your YouTube name. Well, my YouTube name is Sasha T, and my name is Sasha Taylor, so it's it's just my name. Um, last book I read. Last book I read was the One Minute Manager, something 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 situational leadership. Yeah, I read that book for school. It was actually a good book. It was really a good book. It's just I read it for school. And then last but not least, the book I'm reading currently, I'm currently reading nothing. But I will be reading a book soon because I got to buy one for school. So, yeah, that was a TMI take. That actually kind of went faster than I thought it would. And my battery still worked. So, you guys, I'm really, really thankful for y'all. I just want to, this is me opening up a little bit. I really just want to say thank you for the people that have joined. I know some of y'all probably thought, who is this crazy girl that follow me on Instagram or Snapchat or anything like that. But I really, really, really want to get subscribers and people to come and watch. Because doing YouTube is a lot of work, but it's worth every second. So I just want to thank you for taking the time out your day, the five seconds to watch it. me when you have people like Jalen Corian, Janae Ma, like you have bigger YouTube people that you could watch. But I just want to say thank you for coming to take your time and look at me. Um, all right, I just want to say I love y'all and I thank y'all and bye. Let me not do it right. Bye. Peace.